Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Martin Tyler, and alongside me is the former Arsenal striker, Alan Smith. And our match today, Arsenal, and they play Everton. Here is how the Arsenal line up. Number 33, Petr Cech. Number 15, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Number 20, Shabran Mustafi. Number 6, Lauren... As Ozil himself, we've talked to him. He knows they can look a bit languid and lethargic at times, <laughs> his natural body movement. And he got a bit of stick for that, really, but he's such an effective player. Well, uh, he's club managers and he's manager for Germany. They all admire him, and that speaks volumes for his talent. This is the Arsenal lineup. Kind of check starts in goal. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain starts with uh, Kolasinac in the fullback positions. Aaron Ramsey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the park. Alexandre Lacazette is the lone striker today. to the lineup for you. Leighton Bain starts with Cuco Martina in the fullback positions. It's good to see them going with two strikers today. When Arsenal moved here, they put up the dates of the club's successes around the stadium. But for a while, there was nothing that had actually happened since the Emirates had been the home ground. But, of course, in 2014 and 2015, they won the FA Cup on both occasions, and they'll be hoping that opens the floodgates in that respect. Yeah, I think that's what this ground is missing. History, matches that you can look back on when maybe you clinch the league. Uh, if they can add that to this... Uh... Referee giving the player the benefit of the doubt about that, but he's given the free kick. Lacazette. Now Williams. Ashley Williams. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Giacca. Arsenal's turn now to get at the opposition. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. The critics of Arsenal say, well, they win matches when there's no pressure on them. But once the uh, chance of honours comes around, particularly in the league, they can't quite uh, cut the mustard. Well, there is some substance to that. Even. Penalty! Well, sometimes we talk about the double whammy, but it's a single whammy here, it's just a penalty. Yeah, the player concerned looked a little relieved. I think he thought he was going to see yellow there. Yeah, Koeman feeling that his player could have got hurt there with that challenge. <laughs> Wonderful goalkeeping. Oh, so often it is a game of cat and mouse, but he was up to the challenge. And that will be a corner for Everton. Oh, he's going to pay the penalty for this, but the goalkeeper's done well. Well, he's moving on the line, he makes the goal look small. Rooney with the corner. Right from the kickoff. They look like scoring, they have now. Sharp from the off, and what a good goal. How about that for a goal? Well, the uh, attention to detail from the coach on these kind of set pieces is faultless. He'll be delighted with that. And here is another angle on that goal. So a goal with Everton, Everton leading goal. here. Number four, Jacka. 
Ramsey. Just to go back to Arsenal, is the criticism that they're only good when there's less pressure? Is that justifiable? I think it is partly, yes. You saw uh, that season when they fell away, and uh, that's hard to take for the fans. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. They're looking for Rooney in the centre. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Chance. Well, I'll give him credit for having a go, but it was nowhere near the target. Yeah, he took responsibility, didn't he? And uh, he'll be hoping it's a bit better next time. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Lacazette. Laurent Koscielny. Giacca. Here's a chance to attack. And it's going to be his throw here. Granani Chaka. Lacazette. To bring them level. Oh, what a goal! And what a game we're getting here. It's level again. Two teams on top form and really taking their chances. Fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level again. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. So, away we go at one all. Idrissa Ghana Gay. Little private game between the two of them. Attacking well here. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Ozil. The shot's on. Corner for Arsenal. In goes the corner. There was a chance, really, of getting into a scoring position then, but anything but. So, Arsenal are coming out here in a pretty tough fixture, but they'll still be fancying their chances. He's taking a chance, but he's keeping the ball under some pressure. Got the tackle in. Klaassen. Gilfie Sigurdsson. And he gives it back to it. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Well, that'll be a throw. Idrissa Ghana Gay. It's Sandro. Leighton Bates. And the attack coming now from Everton. Alexis Sanchez. Aaron Ramsey. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Now Sandro. Gilfie Sigurdsson. And the ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes. It's Rooney. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Jaka. So here we are at half time and it's 1 1. Well, that was spot on from Meza Ozil in the first half. Well, he stepped forward for his team there with that equaliser, but his team haven't been. Start of the second half for you. Granani Chaka. 
Jacka. Neatly intercepted. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. And that goes back to the goalkeeper, Czech. Jacka. Laurent Koscielny. Arsenal with a sharp edge to this attack. Well, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Klassen. Leighton Baines. It's Everton's turn to attack. He can cross it now. Well, that was looking good, and now it's turned over, and all the potential of that attacking play is lost, and they've now got to get back and try and make sure they don't concede themselves. In the middle is Lacazette. Very good distance to the clearance. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Ramsey. Oxley chamberlain Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. Everton coming off the just looking at the tactics of this match, maybe this substitution will hold the key. Number two, Morgan Snyder. Aaron Ramsey. Jacka. Gay. Gilfi Sigurdsson. Leighton Bates. Well, they're in a good position here. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Gilfi Sigurdsson. Mesut Ozil. Shokran Mustafi. Granit Xhaka. Here come Arsenal in exciting style. Aaron Ramsey. Oxlade Chamberlain. Here's Herzl. And it's Aaron Ramsey. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. Ramsey. That well, I uh, saw it all the way, the goalkeeper, and it's comfortable in the end. Gilfie Sigurdsson. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. That's very well cut out at an important time. Well, it's uh, one change, and it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. That's good movement forward here. Good cross into the near post. Very straightforward piece of goalkeeping as he catches the cross. Fantastic game, this, and it's going to go right down to the wire. Granit Xhaka. Shot Gran Mustafi. Laurent Koscielny. Xhaka. Ramsey. Mesut Ozil. Arsenal giving it everything in the pursuit of a winning. Oxley Chamberlain! Well, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. The substitute coming on. It's a tactical change. Number 15, who called Martino. To be replaced by number 30, Mason Holden. The referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. Two minutes. Looking good, this move. Now the shot! It's in! 
Oh, could that be the decisive moment here? Very little time left. It's a wonderful time to score. They're absolutely delighted. Well, you know it's your lucky day as a forward when a goalkeeper comes up with something like this. Well, he was gifted at his feet, but let's be fair, he's still got to finish it, and he did it really well. Nothing the manager can do at the moment. His team have lost momentum, and they're also losing this match. Well, a very exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decider. Well, it could be at this stage of the match. There doesn't seem much of it. It's all over. And there is the final whistle. Well, they got there in the end. Mighty, mighty close, but the right result. Yeah, I think that's true, Martin. Yeah, they contributed plenty, scored a few goals and, and just edged it for me. In the end, the coolest man on the pitch at the most important part of the match was Mesut Ozil. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.